I think the working nature of Cape Ann makes it a distinctly American place. There's a grit to the city, and that has attracted intrepid explorers, such as Howard Blackburn, who survived five days lost at sea and returned to Gloucester, where he received a hero's welcome. And artists like Leonard Krask. Krask was a local artist in the Gloucester community, and he created one of the most iconic American sculptures. The Fisherman's Memorial is really his signature piece. The fishing industry is part and parcel of who we are as a community. It's so important to our cultural identity. You look at the expression, the face of the fisherman, it's so emotional. Fishermen risk so much just to survive. You stand in front of that sculpture with your back to the ocean and take in the names of the fishermen that have lost their lives. You feel the weight of responsibility in the man at the wheel. In the Cape Ann Museum's collection, there's a small maquette, also by Krask. This is the memorial to Howard Blackburn. The piece represents that moment in 1883 where Blackburn lost his main ship at sea. He knew that his hands were going to freeze, but he froze them in a position so they could at least hold the oars. He managed to save his own life. It's this scene of tremendous endurance. A maquette is a sculptor's way of modeling an idea. It's a three-dimensional sketch. Krask made that model in clay, then worked with one of my predecessors of the studio, a great master mold maker, Pietro Caproni. Their intention was to make it into a heroic sized figure. It was developed to be scaled up, like the Fisherman's Memorial in bronze. Because of its condition, this wonderful work of art has unfortunately been relegated to storage. We're honored to be able to restore his original maquette. The conservation is a very specialized type of work. The most important thing is to use all the original parts in the conservation. That's what we try to preserve. But the oarsman is missing one arm and a hand, and some pieces we'll have to tediously put back together by looking at a historic picture of the complete first-generation cast. The strength of the piece is on its motion and the rendering of the water. You get the sense that the oarsman is captured in a big wave. It's a whole story, just totally iconic. Through artists such as Leonard Krask, we can provide a look back. Pieces like this are a reflection of our community. We want to continue to illuminate and engage people in the stories of this place, of people who made a real difference in this community and the role that it has played changing the course of American history.